It's a built plywood box sailing boat, which is really slick. And uh, we are running various events, and this is the first oh, ever Globe Transit solo uh, race across the Atlantic. Um, and it's shaping up to be quite a lot of fun. How special is this uh, first Globe 580? How important is this in the, in the sailing world? Well, you know, I mean, it's, it, this is a situation where um, it's a first in many ways. It's a simple boat. It's going. It's not going backwards in technology, but it's not super high tech. There's no foils. There's no carbon fibre. You know, it's affordable to build. Anyone can build it. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an all-round good sailboat. It's not just a specific downwind flyer. And so you put all those elements together, and then you have an event like this. The significance of this one is it's the first. We've only six entrants, but it doesn't matter. We're going to experience something very special because no one's done it before, and uh, we're making history in our own little way. And quite honestly, we don't really. There's this feeling. There's this great camaraderie between the builders, and we really don't care what the rest of the world thinks. We're having our own little bit of fun. But at the same time, every entrant is an inspiration to someone else. So uh, we are feeling confident that yeah, you know, in a year's time or whatever, there could be a hell of a lot of these boats. There's already 170 builders in 27 countries around the world in the first 18 months so so a lot of people seem to like it and that's a lot of fun me too <laughs> and how dangerous is this for the sailors for the which oh, yeah. for, for the sailors for the sailors themselves yes. oh you better ask them i mean i think everyone's having a lot of fun and we haven't even started yet <laughs> that's the best part <laughs> but is this dangerous yeah, you know, life is full of risk everywhere you go. You know, I mean, you can never predict tomorrow, and there's no such thing as security. So, so it's the same in the suburbs, in the cities, in the country, and on the water. You know, yes, it has risk, and that's part of the attraction. Our role as an organizer is to mitigate that risk and minimize it in every possible way, okay? And then you go out there and have a go. And, you know, a sense of. Um, you know, spirit of adventure is really important, but you know, pushing yourself to the limit, you know, it defines who you are, and and that's really important in life. The world wouldn't be where it is right now uh, without people that are prepared to, to take on a challenge and do things, and, and, and uh, that's what it's all about. You know, it's a very personal experience. You're right. Thank you so much for the interview. No problem. Uh, what's going on? All right, we. Um finish the safety check so everything's fine we're just waiting for Jim he will come in tonight with the mini flares and then uh, we should be good to go so and the guys we just seal the grab bags and we seal the emergency water so we know that they always have enough water on board and they always be safe on the water Every, today. everybody quite happy yes everybody's scrambling um, Etienne went out for a sail and Misha went out for a sail looking very good I saw some videos learning to trim the boat again so that's very good cool yeah. Hi Don, it's Sunday. Uh, we pushed the start 23 hours. <laughs> and uh, how are you doing? Because there's some news from you, eh? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. I'm leaving on Wednesday morning, first light. <laughs> Not with the other guys. Uh, the whole of the last night was a big party night. And uh, then uh, all of this morning, I finally got to the boat at 1.30, put it that way. We had the morning briefing and then we had to do some stuff with the media team and uh, do some notifications and stuff, so that's cool. And then uh, I've been working for the last couple of hours. Good news is this boat holds a lot of stuff. I just put like two or three weeks worth of food in and I didn't even fill two lockers. There's three of them. So, so yeah, we can uh, stow a lot of stuff. But, um, uh, but yeah, now uh, I won't uh, go with the other guys. There'll be four starters tomorrow and Jim's due in sometime tonight. I'm going to lose time there, but it'll be cool to see him. So we'll probably spend an hour or so with him. Um, that's cool. I'll have a late night tonight till about midnight um, to get as much done as I can. I'm basically now sorting, organizing and getting turning things on. You know, I've got to get everything working. Um, I'm still setting up safety gear, which really I, I can only do. Um, Etienne's going to sort out my wind vane for me, set that up and tweak it because he, he knows it well. Um, and then tomorrow, won't get much done because I'll be who hiring with these guys who are leaving. We'll go out and do the live, and when I come back, I'll work tomorrow night. That's Tuesday. That's uh, Monday night, and then uh, I need all. Of, I need a whole day, which will be Tuesday, just to be on the boat, tweaking things, repacking. I haven't even worked out a voyage plan. I know what the weather's doing, but I like to be organised. Get the chart organised. Get ready. Access food done. I'm taking full upholstery. See this? This is just one of my one of my cushions. You know. 
and I even bought a pillow, you know, I got a beautiful pillow up there, so I'll make my bed and play around on the boat all day Tuesday by myself to get settled, sort out the rig, and then I'll sleep on board on Tuesday night because I like to have at least one night on board when I think everything's right, just to settle in, and then leave first light on Wednesday, and the weather will be beautiful, and the world will seem marvellous. <laughs> Because all these other guys will bugger off and I can have some fun. <laughs> so, Don, uh, what, what does it to you? you? You've worked immensely hard, l like everybody. Yeah. And uh, what, 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 what does it to you that you just well, stay it, off the bit? I, I, know, I know the intention, but, and yeah. I'm, I'm with you there. You, you, you do want yeah, to go the, out the, when the you're ready. The reality is I'm not a racing sailor, but I'm going to show these guys up for sure. You know, There's no question. I'm in seniors division, but... Um, but I'm a compass and knife man and I'll always get home. So I have some very simple rules and very simple philosophy. I go to sea when I'm ready. And uh, even though it's a race and you've got deadlines and the start lines, this is really just a qualifier to Lanzarote anyway. And uh, the reality is I enjoy organising and we try to organise the very best we can um, and look after the entrance because without the entrance you don't have an event. And they're all having a great time, which is really cool. You know, Jane and I like seeing that. And it was a lot of fun. Last night's dinner was really cool. Um, so, yeah, it's a balancing act. But now it's my time, and uh, I'll be glad to see him go. It'll be quite fun. Um, and I'm quite comfortable, you know. The race for me really starts from Lanzarote. And uh, I know I'll be feeling very good when I leave. And I'll still leave here with only with two hours sailing on the boat. But it doesn't worry me. But it's a very simple boat, and I'm confident I can get there, you know. So, yeah, that's how it works. Thank you very much, Don. Yep, okay, see you soon. <laughs>